So let's talk about taxes. Now, we were just talking about the, the results of all this stuff. But now we're talking about, really, it, the, the silly season is definitely, definitely upon us. Oh my god. How, how we're going to solve all this. Yeah. How about the fair tax? Mm -hmm. I wrote an article about the fair tax several months ago. The fair tax. That means every bloody thing you buy, you're going to get taxed on. Well, people at the top, they don't care because they know enough money. It doesn't matter what tax it is. Uh, but of course, they're going to weasel out of it no matter what, even though they're not going to pay much. They're going to find a way to put it offshore somewhere. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> um, the fair tax is about as unfair as anything you could possibly devise. It is regressive, and I think we need to understand regressive, meaning it hits the people with the least money the hardest. It's not the progressive is the opposite. I don't want to talk about that in a minute. Um, the regressive uh, disproportionately hits people with the least money because their money is going for necessities. It's not like they can choose to buy a boat or not buy a boat. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they they uh, can put things off. Um, I mean, they'll never consider it, but they have to have um, oil, gas, and food. Mm -hmm. And those will be taxed, everything. Uh, and I, I heard something the other day about, oh, well, how can it be so fair? Okay, then we're going to, <laughs> we're going to um, rebate the taxes, like before you actually spent them to people below a certain poverty level or, or a certain income level. In other words, you might get a check, a nice hefty check, and somehow you're going to relate that to what you spent for food maybe next week. But maybe you're going to have a car breakdown and you're going to use that money right, right. to fix your car. Wait, let's, let's just back up for um, a minute and, okay. and talk about what the thinking or the reasoning was behind this fair tax. What, what is, what uh, is the, it supposedly designed to do? Simplicity, mm -hmm. I think. I can't see any other. Uh, and, and to be sure, it would be simple. But you know, nothing is ever simple. Yeah. Just by the fact you're going to make this rebate to people below a certain income level, that's not simple. That is the whole bureaucracy right there. And that's, that's extremely complicated. And for heaven's sakes, it won't do the job. Pe poor people will still be hit really big in, uh, in a very, very sensitive uh, way. Um, but it, it is a matter of simplicity. And you know, they make a case for it. But here and here is another thing about. By the way, there there's a sales tax, there's sales tax, a fair tax, and VAT, value added tax. And some people have found differences. I couldn't figure out the differences. So as far as I'm concerned, they're really basically the same animal. So I'm not going to go into those details. I didn't I didn't get it frankly. So they would say, well, it'd be uh, like. 16 um, percent. Your your tax actually would be 16 percent or 18 percent, somewhere in there. I mean, everybody says a different percentage. Mm -hmm. But in order to reach the same amount of money that we're bringing in now, you'd have to have it like 50 to 60 percent, and that would not bring in more money. That's just low, mm -hmm. presumably. That's a very sketchy thing right there. Uh, and, and so then they argue about that, how much the percentage would be, but it, it doesn't. The numbers don't add up at all. They just don't. And we, we don't need to just be, have a simple thing that brings in the same amount of money. We need a whole lot more money to, to get off this inflationary kick. Mm -hmm. Now, I like to think that business is interested in this stuff. Sure. It's, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's not just for me to rant on it and talk about this and say just for my own self-satisfaction. This is what business should be thinking about because they think it's thinking about where we are going with this stuff. Um, I know that uh, there's a famous quote about Willie Sutton. So why do you rob banks? Because that's where the money is. <laughs> <laughs> and why do we need to tax the super rich? Because that's where the money is. <laughs> there isn't money. You can't get stuff out of a stone. You know, you're already squeezing people like uh, they haven't been squeezed since the Great Depression. So if you want to get off this inflationary thing, which people have said it's not there, but it is there. It's there now. And it's only going to get bigger as long as we keep bailing people out.